Everybody's good? Ooh. No, it's hot. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still on the verge of having this trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, welcome to another episode of Driving with Ty. Uh, it's been a while. I don't even know how long it's been since we started, uh, or since the last time we did an episode. Right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we can check YouTube to see. But it's it's been probably at least a couple seasons. Long, long time. We also have Elliot here today. Say, say hi, Elliot. Say hi to the. Hi. Oh goodness, antisocial. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, I want to tie together a couple of segments. So I'm gonna start with some, you know, uh, questions, and then we're gonna eventually tie them into like additional sections, and it'll all make sense after we produce it. So today. I wanted to ask you guys, what is a local monetary effect or a local monetary spender multiplier? What? <laughs> oh, ask me that. Um, no, it don't is cheat. A, um, <laughs> Do not cheat. It is, um, you know, when you are... Uh, no, stop, stop. <laughs> just, just like lo- local multiplier effect. What? That's that's all. What do you think it is, Elliot? What do you think it is? Oh, you're asking me. Yes, yeah, so I'm asking both of you. Uh, multi- local multiplier. I don't know. Like maybe it's like in the one area stuff multiplies. Like it's, uh, one area stuff multiplies. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Ty, any guess? Guesses? All right. Say it one more time. Local multiplier effect. Does that have something to do with small businesses? Maybe in a certain area uh, about how people sell things and the effects of the community. So, so it is community based. It's it's um, a it's more of a like economic uh, um, topic. So really, uh, so I guess you guys kind of give up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, the local multiplier effect is really when a dollar comes into a community. How many times does it oscillate, or how many times does it cycle before it leaves that community? Yeah, it says a term that refers to how many times dollars have recirculated within a local economy before leaving the purchase of an import. Thank you, Elliot. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. No, it, wait. So you mean that be, what it's doing, what it's working with before it like yeah. goes overseas or something, or gets traded or something like that? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so think about this, right? Um, let's say um, we have a very basic example where let's say I am a shop owner and I run a souvenir shop, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, I actually have some tourists come in and they buy like, let's say a, a stack of postcards. Let's say they buy like $10 worth of, of postcards, right? Um, then that's actually dollars that's coming into a local economy. So we have $10 that was coming into our economy. I'm gonna make this super simple. I'm not gonna calculate tax or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna make it so that makes it super super easy for us to like do a simple calculation so that's one thing um so now i'm a shop owner and i need to get in a haircut or i need to go to the butcher or something let's just say haircut make it super super simple because who has butchers this is not well there are some uh both boutique butchers but we'll just say haircut <laughs> every a lot of people have to get their haircut most people hair grows and they have to get their haircut so then what I do is I go to the, the barber shop, my local barber shop, and I get a haircut. Right, right. So I spend ten dollars on a haircut. I know a haircut doesn't cost ten dollars, yeah, but, no, but for purposes of but, doing Okay, so now we actually have the the tourist that paid me ten bucks and now I paid the barber ten bucks. Right. And let's say the barber has to go to the grocery store, local grocery store, and Let's say that grocery store is a multinational com- uh, corporation like Giant or whatever. Mm-hmm. So then he actually buys ten dollars worth of gr- groceries. But if we look at the spender, the the multiplier, the local multiplier effect for those dollars, each of those ten dollars that came into the community, they have a an effect of let's just say three. Why? Because they were spent three more times or two more times really in the yeah, let's say two sorry times. two more times in in the community because it went from me to the barber, barber to the big. Uh, yeah, the store. Big was the name store. Yeah. I got the word. Yeah, yeah. grocery mind. store. Yeah, so big uh, box things. What they call yeah, them. big box stores. Yes, you're right. So that that's that's you know really uh, the local uh, multiplier effect. So why, why why do you think that's important? Now that we have a, a good definition. Me first. Yes, Ty. 
I think it's important um, because I think that it gives people, especially the like the smaller <coughs> communities, I think it gives them uh, revenue and it gives them money to be able to do the simple things that they need, necessities that they need, uh, you know, for everyday, everyday life. I think that's why it's important to keep that, you know, to keep it steady. So, so a healthy economy, like it, right. it helps, uh, it's probably a good measure of a healthy economy. That's basically, yeah, so. okay. All right. So Elliot, anything else, anything to add or any, any additional thoughts? No, I think it also helps provide a stable economy. As well. Okay. It helps yeah. provide a, a stable economy. Okay. No, no, no. That, that's actually very, very interesting. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is the fact that, um, when do you think people started writing about this or who do you think wrote about this? Elliot, you first? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, no, no. Maybe like back when they start started like first introducing like a real form of currency. Real so form? Like, okay. Try to keep track of where the dollars are going, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So um all right, so around what time frame? I mean, are you talking about like eighteen eighteen hundreds? The okay, okay. like I don't know about that. <laughs> just just guess. I mean this is it's no wrong answers here. I'm I, I know the answer, I'm just gonna tell you anyway, but yeah, and do not look it up. Thirteen hundreds, okay. What about you? Oof. But well, I don't agree with Elliot's. Answer. That's okay. Just what? what oh, okay. What's your guess? <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. I, da, 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 da. I would say that who thought of this? I would think it was um. I don't think it was early. That early. I think it was somebody like maybe like um. I want to say this an independent. Small, uh, small business owner or independent person, um, probably around two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Like All right. <laughs> so you both were. Well, Ty was closer. Um. So. <laughs> so. Uh. Thirteen hundred. Well, you know. Uh. The actual. Uh. Idea really came from a person by the name of uh, John Maynard Keys, and we'll talk about him a little bit later in another segment. But uh, some of his policies really shaped us through our most recent uh, depression or recession, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I shouldn't say depression. It was actually uh, the recession of, uh, I guess, like 2000. 2008? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. So, so some of his, his ideas and, and theories that was written in around uh, the 1930s, uh, actually, we, we took action off of them uh, because we uh, really went against the, the neo-capitalistic uh, um, process of how we deal with the economy. Uh, basically, a uh, summation of neo-capitalism is like, the markets are smart, they'll just work themselves out. That didn't really work in uh, 2008, and sometimes we actually have to have, you know, uh, human intervention. So, we'll talk about that later, um, but it's super, super important, and this is actually one thing that he really had a, a, a big um, kind of shaping idea on. So, uh, local multiplier effects are super, super cool, and you know I think it's really useful to know about it. And I don't know. I think we kind of covered this topic. I, I really liked your answers, and you know, so I would say, uh, if you guys have anything to add on this topic, you know, please drop it in the, the comments. Also, like the video, please like it. <laughs> uh, please subscribe to the channel. Also, ask us questions or topics you want us to talk about. Reach us. We are on all channels. That will be in all of the, the little text box that's below the video. Yeah, look down. It's, it's now. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.